Hey y'all. <laughs> I did a poll. I did a poll the other day about what you guys are interested in learning more about. And um, somebody responded um, that they wanted to learn a little bit more about the warmers. So I've got a couple different ones um, to show you so that you kind of get a feel for, um, you know, how they work, the best places for them and whatnot. So I will start with the warmer of the month. And this one actually came from another region and they decided to release it for, you know, the United States and Canada as a warmer of the month for us, which is awesome because like so many people wanted it and it literally like sold out um, within just a couple of hours on the first. Um, but they did decide to make it available for a pre-order for the whole month. Um, so if you still want this, you can get it uh, through the website as a pre-order. And all you do is when you go to the website, you... Hi, I'm sorry. <laughs> um, but what you do is you create an account and you go to the website uh, and click on the specials. Uh, when you go to scent and warmer of the month, you will see uh, May's scent and warmer of the month, the palm trees and ocean breeze, and then the pre-sale deposit for the warmer. And basically what that is, is you pay $10 to reserve a warmer um, when they are available later this year in September. And at that point, you will just pay the remaining balance um, plus tax and shipping for your warmer. Um, they'll send it on email and let you know when that is available to redeem. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to show you um, what it looks like. Uh, this is the base um, and it's got that, that wood look, but it's made out of, um, I want to say ceramic. Um, so it's got that like stone feel or cement feel. Um, and it's got the warming plate and then the side here, which is where the succulents go so it has a square dish and on the back of the dishes or the bottom of the dishes um, you'll see a number and it's got four so uh, Scentsy recommends using four cubes of wax uh, for this size warmer and that would give you the most scent throw for a warmer of this size and the cubes are um, one bar has eight cubes, so one cube is just one piece of this bar. So like four would be um, the recommended number for this dish. And it comes with some um, little stone pebbles that you pour um, into the side area here. And then it has uh, one, two, three, four, five different um, uh, faux succulents and they're very very well made they feel real the texture of them um, feel very real like literally uh, people looking at it might think that they're you know actually real so they did such an amazing job um, executing uh, the look of the succulent pieces so I'm just kind of arranging it in here um, but you can play with it and, you know, change, change the look of it to whatever you would like. Um, so it's a ton of fun, um, very, very beautiful, and I think would fit well um, with any decor. So when you do um, plug it up and cut it on, it's got a little light here. Um, of course, it's off, but if I was to cut it on, it would light up. Um, a red color just to let you know that it is on and then I have a mini warmer here and these are $20 for the, the nightlight mini warmers 
I mean, it comes, you know, separately. It's got the plug-in and the front is the on and on switch. In the back here, you can push the button to turn it, you know, if you need to, um, according to how your outlet is in the wall, because um, you want to make sure that it's up, plugged in upright. And then you just screw in your bulb and all of the warmers come with a bulb. And then the actual um, warmer, the mini warmer itself. So this is the pearl warmer. It's got an iridescent uh, like rainbow finish to it. And then it's got like the swatches at the bottom. Uh, it's really, really pretty. It's like a cream color. So very neutral and would go uh, well with anything really. Um, and you just screw it on top and then you are good to go. So when it comes to the mini warmers, the dish itself isn't very, very large. So I would recommend using one to two cubes, depending on um, the size of the space. Like if you're gonna put this in your bathroom, if your bathroom's small, one cube will totally do it. But if it's a larger bathroom or if you put it in like your laundry room, uh, somewhere that's like a bigger space, you might want to try two cubes. Um, and then the way that I change my wax with these, I just throw a few cotton balls in there and uh, just soak up the old wax and throw it away and add new wax. Um, a lot of times I'll take a paper towel and then just wipe it out um, just to get any um, remaining wax out of there. And then the same thing with um, the warmer dishes. You can just throw some cotton balls in there or you can try a cotton cleanup, which is um, a cotton pad. It just sits in there, soaks up the wax, you take it and toss it. Um, or you can even, you know, just use a paper towel. Just, um, you know, put the paper towel in there, it'll soak up the wax, you can clean it out. Um, they all work the same when it comes to um, changing out your wax. So. When it comes to changing wax, um, you don't want to add new wax to old wax. So like let's say you only put one cube in here and then you can't smell it anymore. So you just add another cube. You don't want to do that because um, it definitely messes with the scent throw uh, whenever you try to put new wax with old wax. So always remember to switch it out whenever you can't smell it anymore. And it is food grade. Um, paraffin wax so it doesn't disappear um, into the air the way that traditional candles do it will stay um, you know in your warmer in your dish it's not going to disappear it's not going to go away um, you know once it melts in here and you can see the level of where it is it's not going to slowly go down over time so um, so it's really based on when you can't smell it anymore um, because how long it lasts is really dependent on how how long you have your warmers on so like most of my warmers um i never cut them off um uh, just because i feel safe doing that um it's not like you know leaving a, a candle on or anything like that i'm not you know worried i'm gonna burn the house down it's kind of like if you left the house and left a lamp on or something like that um so the um, next warmer I have, I forget what this one's called. Um, let me go back on my website so I can show you. Um, there is a section on here that says um, specials and then past scent and warmer of the month. So you can, can see um, the different scents and warmers that you know were, were pretty recent. So this one is called the cast warmer and it had a spring um, a spring pack in it that had several different sleeves. So, you know, it's a pink uh, iridescent, like unicorn-like look to it, and it has a sleeve inside. So the one that I have in here, it says love grows here, but it also has a, um, a butterfly one with flowers, the love grows here and then there's um i think it's a dandelion the you know the little weed that has a little white puff when you blow it all the little things fly away 
uh, I think those are called dandelions. So it's super fun. Um, and, you know, it, I already had it put together, of course, because I recently used it. But it's got a clear bulb in there. Um, it's kind of loose. Let me tighten it up. Um, so, it's, you know, it's just got a clear bulb. Um, we do sell different color bulbs if you are interested in changing the look of the warmer. But um, when it is lit, it's like a soft, um, a very soft, warm glow. And, um, I mean, it's beautiful even without putting the sleeve in there. But I will uh, plug it up so I can show you what it looks like. All right, so um, that's what it looks like uh, plugged up. Um, as you can see, it's really warm looking. Trying to adjust the focus. Um, it's not really adjusting for me. Maybe go back a little bit. Um, but that's what it looks like uh, with just the warmer itself. So I am going to put the sleeve in here so you can kind of see what it looks like. And it just fits in there. It's got um, these little groove in the back that it's the sleeve itself um, sticks together. So then you just put the sleeve in there. And now you can see the flowers and everything and how it says love grows here. And then, of course, the dish just sits on top. And it also has the number inside for how many cubes of wax it recommends. And it recommends four for this size warmer. So this is a full size warmer. And um, that's what that looks like. So it's really, really pretty. And um, changing the wax, of course, is the same way, like I explained with the other, the other two warmers. So really, really beautiful. Um, there are tons and tons of different warmers. Like literally anything you can think of. Um, we probably have it like we've got a chicken a cow a little church um really uh, beautiful like sparkly um glam warmers like the acute copper the crushed diamond um the time to reflect they're all really flashy um like showstopper warmers i would say um and there's warmers for every kind of price point um that you can think of uh oh, my little one must have woken up. Um, but uh, but that's a, a rundown on the warmers. So if you have any questions about any of them, uh, please feel free to let me know. I'm happy to help. Um, if you even want to send me a picture of a space that you that you would like to put a warmer and don't really know which one would really fit, um, let me know. I'm happy to help you pick one out. Um, and uh, I will talk to y'all again soon. Bye.